post pre, -pre query um, basically bypasses the IP queries database call entirely um, if you hook this filter. The use case that we came up with is we had a client uh, book publisher called Hachette. Um, they were pulling in all of their data from Onyx. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's a standard for structuring book data. And you know, we built them a data importer for Onyx that pulls all their books into a custom post type, which was great, worked fine. Um, recently, they came to us with a request to also pull in book data from something called Bowker. And Bowker's uh, data comes from an API. So we're actually pulling in book data uh, from a remote API on the fly. The challenge is, we'd already built all these lovely templates that pull in data from the database that work with WP query. So you know, how do we just simply add another data source without rebuilding templates to work with some external API? So this is where we actually leveraged uh, post pre query to do this. It was really just three easy steps. So step one, we created a hidden post type. Um, so that, that way we can query the stuff just like any other post. We created a hidden post type for Bowker. Um, second, uh, we filtered post pre-query. Um, so now when querying for objects by using you know, something like the permalink structure at the bottom there, just using Bowker title and the ISBN number, um, post pre-query instead, uh, as you can see highlighted there, it just instantiates a new ISBN object, you know, queries it using the ISBN number, and pulls in the data. Um, a couple other things we're doing here is we're suppressing filters um, to prevent any other further modification, and we're actually choosing not to cache the results so we can control the cache ourselves, um, you know, based on how the API caches its data. Um, and the final step is we actually fabricate a WP post object. Um, so our, our the WP post function inside of this ISBN object um, creates a, a WP post object that you know any any WordPress page calling WP query can work with. Um, and we're, we're actually controlling the cache here um, based on how the API caches its data.